concept of perfect really existed, then there wouldn't be a need for change. People wouldn't look for a way to better themselves, their lives, and the world around them. We have always pushed limits past their breaking points and discovered new horizons in the process. Yet, we are never satisfied. The, the thirst for improvement is in every single one of us. It does not matter who we are or what we do. Whether it is playing a sport, learning how to code, or simply just being a better person, we are always innovating the world around us. To bring this idea to a more relatable personal view, let's talk about Trek. Oh, okay. Let's talk about Trek, <laughs> the happiest small learning community in Marin County. Through Trek, many of us did things we wouldn't have done otherwise. The first one on this list is keeping track of all that agency. <laughs> but seriously, through Trek, we made websites, recorded podcasts, and made infographics. And really worked our nerves with all that public speaking that we had to do. And in the case of you future sophomores, it isn't quite done yet. <laughs> when I think about the works I made for Chizzy and Dan, I feel like an amateur techie. And it's a feeling I like. Together, they changed the way we learn. And although at times it did seem like we were on a bus with no driver, I now realize it's going to help us more than we know. <laughs> we are lucky to have been part of this technological change. Change that will only improve with time. That same time that is an endless builder that never stops, never looks back, and will always bring something new. I admire the builder and his ability, but sometimes I ask myself, what about those who don't have the same opportunities as us? The fancy gadgets, the great teachers, and nice classrooms. Are these realities for them? Or are they part of a fairy tale they wish it be true? And in their absence, as they are left behind, a gap so large, no architect can design a bridge to cross it. As much as I like the innovation of what goes through, I wonder if it is for everyone. And if it is, and if it is for everyone, how can I make sure they all have a chance to try? Why worry so much if everyone does or doesn't get to use an iPad? I will agree, an iPad is not a computer. It can't do the things a computer can. But it opens the eyes of a person to the role of technology. And perhaps by that experience, they will one day become a tech savvy person. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest predicted job growth of the future has to do with having some sort of IT knowledge. These same jobs may, be, may one day be ours, but for now, we must endure the rigorous ritual that is high school. We must learn to adapt, because in our ever-changing landscape, learning to adapt will be one of our greatest tools. My passion, I believe, was always robots, cool gadgets, and utopian societies pictured in film. But as I present to you my speech, I now know what I am truly passionate for is change. Changing everything, life, school, and even my career. For now, I am only a mere sophomore with dreams and hopes to one day do something great. Perhaps I will, perhaps I won't. Or maybe the change I will make won't affect the nation, but rather an individual. And that's great too. In trying to do so, whatever it is I will attempt to do, I know I will fail many times. But as Martin Luther King Jr. once said, you must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope.